boys and girls, so glad you come back to join us for our missions moment. It's me, Jungle Joe, and I am so glad that you have come back to the real estate to Bulgaria. We're still here, and while I was here, I met an amazing friend. I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi guys, I'm Jungle Jill, and this is Fluffy. So Jungle Jill and Fluffy are going to hang out with us for the rest of the time. So today, we're leaving Bulgaria, and we're going back to the States to meet a really, really special person. So really quick, you know what we got to do? We got to jump into the helicopter. All right, so on the count of three, Jungle Jill, jump in. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. All right, you are in. Here we go, guys. Fly across the ocean. See a couple of whales, a couple of sharks. They look good. Coming in. Oh, man. Here we go, landing, 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 landing. Oh, man, that was a long flight. But we're landing safely back in the United States. And today, we're in Portland, Oregon. And Portland is a place on the West Coast. So it's still a long way away from home. But one of my best friends, actually my best friend in the whole of our world, lives here. And his name is Rusty Massey. And Rusty and his family moved to Portland back in 2015 to, to help lead a church. So they've been there for four and a half years. But what's crazy is this is their second time in Portland. The first time, Rusty and his wife planted a church in Portland, and they were there for five and a half years. But now they're at this church, and they need your help. Their goal is to love and serve the people of Portland. And the one way they do this it's by giving out Bibles and serving in the community and loving on those people. And Rusty is going to tell you all about that in just a minute. So as soon as we get done talking, stay tuned. And he's going to come on and share with you about Portland, Oregon. But a couple of things he needs your help with. Number one, if you would, pray for Rusty and his family as they continue to minister in Portland. They need a lot of prayer. Two, Rusty asked if you would, please, please pray for salvation. So they will see people come to know Christ. Also, if you would, pray for them to connect with the kids and the families of Portland and to share the gospel with them. Now, one way that you can support Rusty and his family and his church is by helping them give out Bibles. This is a big thing that they do. And so if you're willing to help them and able to help them, if you could send them $10 or $20, but $10 would help buy a Bible for them to pass out. Now, you can mail that to, to, to Rusty or you can give online. And we'll post the link and the address um, in the comments below if you want to help support them. So please take a look at Rusty and his family and their ministry and see how you can support them and please pray, please pray for them. So that's it for today from Portland. So Jungle Joe says we'll see you later and Jungle Joe says bye. All right, guys, have a good day. Hey everyone, my name is Rusty Massey. I'm the pastor of Trinity Church in Happy Valley, Oregon. Now, Oregon is on the far west coast. We call it the left coast, right on the Pacific Ocean. And, and Happy Valley is in Metro Portland. And so Portland is a city that's uh, right on the Washington border. Happy Valley is on the east side of Portland. So if you see Sandy, we're a little closer to the, the city than Sandy. Now the people of Portland, about one out of every 10 people will claim to be Christian. So we have to do things a little different than churches in other parts of the country. Now on Sunday mornings, our church will look just like any other church. We have worship services, we have kids ministry, we have youth ministry. Uh, but the big difference for us is what we do outside of Sunday morning. And so for us, outside of Sunday morning means we have to be an ice cream truck. And what I mean by that is an ice cream truck, you go to the people. Whereas, say you're a Baskin Robbins, people come to you. And for us, since only one out of ten people claim to be Christian, we have to go to our community. So these are some pictures of us going to our community, partnering with events that the city of Happy Valley's done. And in the last two years, we've been able to give out over 400 Bibles to uh, kids and parents and teenagers within our community. And so this is a great way for us just to have a gospel influence within, within our city. 
So we are about two miles from the city of Portland from where I'm standing right here. This is Happy Valley. This is the city that we live in, that our church is in. And this is a development. I just wanted to show you this development. This is just one development. A 600 home development is going in right here. And this is, like I said, just one. A few minutes down the road, there's another development of 400 homes coming in. So the city of Portland, which again, Two miles down the road is the city limits between uh, the, the road that cuts between Happy Valley and Portland. And Portland is moving here. Anytime we get a, a, a communication from our school district, they send something to parents, they always send it out in four different languages. They send it out in English, in Spanish, in Russian, and in Vietnamese. And the reason why they do that is because everybody is moving here. Hey, so this is my neighborhood. This is where I live, and I'm standing in, in a park surrounded by 450 homes. I know because I put a door hanger on every single home uh, last Easter. And so how do, you, how do you do ministry in an area where 9 out of 10 people don't want anything to do with Jesus? Are they, are they uh, hostile towards it? No, they're not hostile towards Christianity. They're not hostile towards Jesus. They're not hostile towards church. They are very apathetic. Towards, towards Jesus and church and Christianity. So, so how, do you, how do you do ministry in a setting like this? Well, really, uh, one person at a time, one family at a time, one person at a time. And we try to have a gospel influence. That's, that's, what, that's what I tell our church. Our goal is not to build a big church. Our goal is to have a gospel influence. And so we go to the people. Again, we're that ice cream truck. We go to the people, and we don't just rely on people coming to us. And so our goal is to have a gospel influence, and our prayer is that by having a gospel influence, that God will allow us to see people come to know him for the very first time, that Jesus will be glorified. And one of the cool things about this is it allows us such a unique opportunity to be creative. That's what I love about being in an environment like this, is we get to be creative in how we do ministry. We get to be creative in how we do outreach. And that's what's a beautiful thing about the Northwest and other parts of the country as well where Christianity is, is not as, um, uh, as, as, as active, as, as, as churches are as large uh, as here, uh, here as they would be in other parts of the country is we really get to be creative in how we share Jesus to our neighbors, and that's what I love. So yes, there's some, uh, certainly some challenges, but there's also some really cool opportunities that we have here in Portland, Oregon.